What's up YouTube, Dan6 bringing you day 4 of Magic Farm 3. Better late than never I guess. I have to start this episode off by making an apology. Um, I am sorry for my lack of videos over the weekend. I've been horrendously ill. Oh, I've got some weeds growing. Um, yeah, I've been horrendously sick over the weekend and this is the first day I've actually been able to get out of bed. Um, so yeah. So I had some weeds growing, which is bad news. Everything else safe? Now I've done a bit of preparation work for this episode. Um, I mean I'm still just eating the crap that grows here. But last episode we left off and I had made this smeltery. Now the preparation, I've already prepared the aluminium brass, I screwed up the uh, ratios a bit, so we've got a little bit of leftover copper. Pardon me, but here's what we're going to do. Actually, first things first. Now, four. Probably help if I have my quest book. Oh, I would definitely help if I have my quest book. Oh, there it was. Quest book. Okay. Now, the quest that I need is I need to make an ingot cast. That's going to be the first thing I do. Um, I haven't finished this yet. Oh well. Wait. Let's see. Now I know not being able to turn this in is a known bug on the uh maybe I have yeah, no, I've turned that in. I've finished that. Okay. Yeah. Um the farm factory, this is a known bug. It's been all over the forum pages for a couple of weeks now. However, Jaded is working on Agrarian Skies 2 at the moment, so hopefully this will get an update soon. But I need to make an ingot cast, and to do that, I've put the ingot in the casting table. We've got the aluminium brass down there. Now I just pour that in, and voila, ingot cast. And I just realised that I lost the iron ingot, that kind of sucks. But that's fine. So I have prepared myself some more uh, tool heads to make more ingots, uh, make more casts out of. Like I want a shovel head, uh, the pickaxe, the sword, all that kind of stuff. Wow, I didn't think that I'd actually lose the, uh, the tools. Well, alright. Um, anyway, that's fine. I can live with that. I'm going to chuck some iron in here. Uh, now this will smelt down. I've put 9 in. We're going to get 18 iron out of it. does use quite a bit of fuel, so... One of the first things I'm going to use this iron for is to make myself a bucket. And I'm going to put these casts in this chest for safekeeping. So yeah, I've been pretty sick lately. Um, I've had a nose and sinus infection, so I might still be a little bit sniffly or I might cough or sneeze during the recording. In which case, I do apologise. Uh, it's just, you know, I can't really help it. I have, yeah, just been feeling like absolute crap. So what, what to do, what to do? It's been a couple of days since I've even played this mod pack. Um, I know I was working on that. Now I've started preparing the land behind here. I want to build like a little storage shed type deal for seeds. Um, and maybe some kind of kitchen area. But I also really want to get into Batania. I love that mod so much. All right, so there we go, we've got 18 iron. Should be able to cook a bit more down. So yeah, first thing I'm going to do... Do I hear something walking? I hear a baby zombie somewhere. Where is your... He's up there. Oh god, enchanted sword. Oh, it's only a wooden one, but... Now one of the first things I'm going to be making with the iron is a proper sword, because this sucks. Let's see if I can push him into there, because he'll take damage. Come on, die faster. No, you didn't take damage from the smeltery. I thought mobs were supposed to. Come on, he's a brutish zombie, but he's a baby. Alright, well I got some flint. <laughs> Alright, so there's one iron ingot. This is a tedious process. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of blood in there now from the zombie. I'm try and do something with that. I know there's certain things you can do with it. 
But now we have three iron, which is enough to make ourselves a proper iron bucket. Thank God. <laughs> uh, let's hang this up, get ourselves some more zombie jerky, or monster jerky, I think it's called. Okay. And let's start working on getting some tools cranking. So these pickaxe heads can be interchanged with the tools I already have, um, which I'll demonstrate shortly. I don't know why I'm bothering. I I want to upgrade my mattock. Actually, you know what? No, I don't. I'll leave the mattock as it is. All right. So, if I come to the tool station, I can take this. Ah, uh, it needs to be fully repaired first. There we go. And now that's got an iron head on it. So this is the comfortable one. Uh, mining level iron. I think it's current mining levels iron. Yeah, I might just... You know what, that one's not going to get an upgrade. This one, however... The really, really fast one. Definitely going to get upgraded. Now, I should still have a crossbar pattern. A wide guard one. That'll do. And I can take some wood. If I have some laying around. Which I don't... I can use bone. Yeah, let's use bone. Can't use bone. Materials. Obsidian, netherrack, tearjerker, terra steel, wither iron, plastic or pink slime. How do I make plastic? That could be fun. That block of plastic. Ah, uh, it's just going to be the regular mine factory smelt down rubber kind of crap. Alright. Hmm. Crossbar though. Crossbar can be bone. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. And I'm going to need some sticks. Or a stick. And that'll make us a rapier. Look at that. It's clumsy, but it does two hearts of damage compared to the one heart that my knife does. So let's make... How much charcoal do I have? Eight. Alright, let's take... Let's put one in each furnace. No, not six. One. Uh, I'll put that away. Let's put some stuff away. Take my wood. Make a bunch of torches. I know it's not heaps, but it's all I really can. Screw it, there's not a bit of charcoal there. I'll use that. Okay. So what we're going to be doing in this episode is a little bit of exploring. I want to find out what's in that cave. But I'm going to need some food to do it. So, yeah. I'm, only, I'm living off of morsels. It's... Pretty sucky, but it's all I've got. <laughs> um, actually, I can probably turn this quest in. Yes. I'm going to take the strong... Oh, casting. Oh, I have to have that in my inventory. Okay. Let's see. Yep, there's some more rye down here. Alright. Let's just scoff this down. Get a bit of the hunger back. Ingot cast. Sweet. I'm going to take the strong box. Oh, it's empty. I was hoping that it might have something in it. But it doesn't. Oh, the blood moon is rising. This is bad. I don't want to be outside for this. Uh, um. Alright, you know what, guys? I might just wait this one out. Blood moons are horrible. Um, lots of mobs, angry mobs spawn. And there's not really a lot I can do during a blood moon. Like, I'm just going to literally board my door up and cry. <laughs> I can't even sleep. You don't feel tired right now. Even though I do technically have a little bit of tiredness going. Can't sleep during a blood moon. So yeah, this is... I'm just going to have to ride this out. So I'll be back 
once the sun rises. Alright everyone, I'm back. It looks like the sun is starting to rise. Yep, starting to get a lot brighter. Uh, as you can hear and see on the minimap, there is just bad things happening everywhere. Oh god. There's, yeah, I don't know what the hell just happened to me, but I'm... Oh, I'm spiderwebbed. Lovely. Look at, just look at this. This is a nightmare. Oh god, what the hell? Did that guy just wither me? Oh, I'm gonna have to turn my game sounds down for this part, I think. God. Let's see, let's just turn that down to like there. Alright, wow, that cleared up quickly. It looks kinda safe. Now, while I was hiding. Oh, there's. It, damn it! Something's breaking my crops. I could hear it. It sounded like someone was uh, placing or breaking lots of dirt. But no, they were messing with my crops. Bastards, I need these. So let's see, melon and leek seeds. I'll just replant those. So I've been using my lunch bag as well. It's just um, got some, like, I can fill it up with stuff and I just eat, eat it as I need it. Anyway, now that that disaster's over, I don't think I can mine this with this. No, it's not at redstone level yet. Now that that nightmare's over, I'm going to venture down here. Let's see, how long have we got to... Right, let's just keep working with this pickaxe, level it up a bit more. And yeah, let's see what we can find. What the fuck is that? I don't want... No, 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 get me out of here. This was a bad idea. Hey, where did my rapier go? Oh, there it is. That was... God, there's... Yeah, this pack is horrendously scary. In case you were wondering, uh, yeah, it... Fucking deadly shit happens. I've been killed by some of my favorite YouTube personalities and Minecraft people. Well, not killed, but they've hunted me. Like I had uh, Etho was outside my house during that blood moon. Etho, I thought I thought we were cool. I really did. So yeah, blood moons are a really scary thing. Um, I didn't really get a chance to explain it, but basically the mob spawn rate, I don't think light matters. They'll just spawn anywhere, um, and they will hunt you. And you can't sleep through it, you just have to sort of sit there and wait. They'll break down your doors, even though I'm not playing on hard, I'm only playing on normal, because this would be even harder on hard mode, funnily enough. So yeah, it's just bad times. <laughs> that is a big slime. I'm not going to go that way yet. It's like I have to. Oh, Christ, I'm poisoned. No. No. What the hell poisoned me? What the fuck is going on? I'm gonna die. This poison is... Oh no, wait, the poison won't kill me. Um... Well, it looks like I'm just gonna hide here until the poison wears off. Alright, well the poison's worn off. I haven't fully restored my health, but I want this slime dead. I don't know what poisoned me, though. Um... Was it a trap? Like, I... I guess there'd be traps? I hear... Was it you? No, it wasn't. Oh! There's a mob spawner on the floor down there, and what the fuck is you? Plague zombie, you're probably gonna poison me. Now, I'm trying to keep an eye on my mini map. Um, let's see, can I get. Monster spawner, thrown potion, that. No bueno. What's going on with you? 
fuck? That's a TNT zombie. He go boom. Oh, and there's another one of those crazy angry with a skeleton thingies up there. You know what? Mining is a terrible idea. Exploring this cave is a terrible idea. This whole thing was a terrible idea. Although I do want that tin. <laughs> I saw tin in the ceiling and I want it. I can get that safely. Hopefully. Yeah, wow. Um, God, this is scary. Everything in this pack wants to kill you. I kind of want to know what the deal with that creeper down there is. It's just intrigued me since I first saw it. Can't mine. What the hell? How do I get a better mining level? Alright, I'm going to have to look into that later. I doubt it would be using a copper tool, because copper is weaker than iron, as far as I'm aware. But I can't mine tin. Um, there has to be a alloy or something, then. Let's see if this skeleton's still up here. Hopefully he's gone away. I think he has. Yeah, there must be a stronger... Uh, no, uh, blah, 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 words. There must be a different alloy that I can make that's better than iron, but not too hard to acquire. Or something. I, I don't know at this point. Um, you know what? I might just carry on with the questing. I kind of... The main reason for me wanting to play this pack was because it wasn't... Uh, it had quests, but it's not quest-oriented. Uh, like some of the other packs are at the moment. Like most of the packs are at the moment, I should say. So I'm... If I still got my bucket... Oh, I didn't bring my bucket with me. God fucking damn it. My main, One of my main reasons for coming here was to get lava, but that, that can wait. But yeah, anyway, it looks like I'm just going to have to stick to questing for the time being. Which is a bit of a bummer. So let's see what we've got. Casting parts. Pickaxe head and an axe head. I've made those. What the hell was that? A gear cast. Oh, okay. So that kind of worked out. I'd already made these, and that's what they want. Oh, pickaxe. Not... What's that? Not the shovel. So I'll put the shovel head away, get the pickaxe one. Gear cast, aluminium brass. What do I want? Shurikens or a ball of moss? I'm going to go with the shurikens. What? Why can't I... Do I not have space? Can I put them away and still do it? going on? Do I need, like, to completely empty my inventory or something? Uh, oh. This tool has incorrect data. Place this tool in a crafting window to update it. Let's... Okay. And these don't stack. But that's a lot of shuriken. I just need to go through all of these, I assume. Wow. That's cool. Uh, kind of annoying that I have to, like, update them all like this manually, but whatever. I'm not going to complain. So... That was a weird noise. Um... So let's see, put that away. What's the next one? Iron ingot. I can do that. I can pour an iron ingot. Iron's on the bottom already. Good. So with this, say for example I wanted to pour aluminium brass, I just click it. It brings it down the bottom. But because I'm doing iron, iron stays down the bottom. Now I'm probably going to want some kind of backpack or something. Okay, do I want fruit juice or rice? So we get some oak drawers. You know, I'm gonna take the fruit juice. Let's see what these drawers do, because I saw them in the crafting menu thing when I was looking at it earlier. The this, anyway. Whoop. Oh. So I could take seeds or something and put them in there, or even probably the shurikens. Yeah, look at that. It stacks up to eight. 
That's cool. So I wonder, this 31 on the shurikens... Yeah, whoa, okay, I've got way more than 16 shurikens. I've got, like... Yeah. 16 times 31. Uh, which is a big number. For those who know how to do maths. Big number. What's What else have we got, then? Copper ingot. I can make a copper ingot. Unless copper is supposed to be better than iron in this, which is strange. Copper ingot. Raw chicken or butter? I'm going to take the butter because I can use that later. Alright, then finally... Well, not finally, but the next one is to make bronze. And it's getting dark. So the next thing is to make... Well, a Tinker's Alloy Ingot, which is... Uh-huh. Alloy. There we go. Tinker's Alloy, with an apostrophe, of course. What do we need? Copper and tin. So did it say that... Copper... After iron comes top copper? Okay, that's... Odd, but... Whatever. Um, well, in that case, I might as well... Oh, God, who are you? Oh, it's Tabuscus! Bye. I kind of feel bad for killing these, like, YouTubers and stuff, because a lot of them I actually watch. I mean, I'm not a huge Tabuscus fan. I do like the songs he puts out, but... I had never watched his Minecraft series. I've seen some of his Happy Wheels, but who who is you? SD Killin, I have no idea who you are. But yeah, these guys will just slowly walk towards you and try to kill you. They're not not friendly. <laughs> not at all. So let's see. So that's now copper. Uh your flint, I need to repair you. I could just wait until the mossy does its trick, but I can't be all that I'm impatient. So there we go. Cool. Oh, and we can upgrade the mining level on that just by using it. 300 and... What the f... Sips, no! We stand for the same things. Oh god, he's going to kill me. I'm Sips is going to kill me right now. Oh, no. Suck it. Okay, so they can open doors. But anyway, guys, that's all the time I've got for today. I'm, next episode, I'll go and explore that cave a little bit more, do a bit more mining, make enough stuff to get this Tinker's Alloy ingot. So it means getting some iron, uh, tin even. And hopefully we can get some stuff that makes exploration not so scary. So yeah guys, thanks a lot for watching, if you enjoyed the episode click the like button, to see more from the series uh, subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Twitter and Facebook with the links in the video description. Take care guys, see you next time, peace.